go to our penultimate race of the morning's action here at the 2020 Rotax Winter Cup. So we have race eight of the meeting. Senior Rotax now in action. Heat number three, groups A and E. Yes, A and A, a and E. We have uh, not A and E is an accident emergency. Don't worry. Um, so the uh, the lineup is as follows: It's Juho Valten who will start on pole position uh, alongside Hungary's Zombar Kovac. Then we have Linus Hansen from Germany with Karl Schmid and also KR Sports uh, Ehad Turka. Good to briefly see him uh, this morning at breakfast. Then it's uh, then we have uh, the Hunter brothers, Rhys and Kai, with Rhys in fifth place, Kai in sixth, that's an all-British uh, row three. Sean Butcher and Luca Leistra um, from the UK and from Belgium, that's row number four. Felix Jansson and Makama Hata from Sweden and France respectively, round at the top ten. And that's ahead of Dave Blom and Tom Adams, who I've seen in action as a junior road tax driver, but moves to seniors, and I know that his dad, Chris, is a little bit nervous ahead of his first race in, uh, in Europe as a senior driver. Madsdys and Rasmus Friedel ran out the top seven rows. Kier, Kian Sang and Max Stemmerdink in 15th and 16th, ahead of Fabian Bock, and um, also Kylian Guerin from France. Mario Sidler and also Flint Schuring ran out the top 20, with Ryabov from Russia, Kublik from Germany, Shina from Great Britain, Sinero Salas, who had problems in practice, uh, warm up this morning, uh, Rodrigo Lessa, uh, Denis Oliveira, and uh, Yua Oksanen uh, rounding out the 27 strong in this group. 10 minutes plus an additional lap of racing action, the penultimate race of the morning here at Circuito Internacional de Karting Campeos. Red lights now ignited on the starting gantry. The timer has been set to count down from 10 minutes, and then we'll have an additional racing lap of action here at this fantastic circuit. Really great technical challenge, but also gives plenty of slipstream and overtaking opportunities. And we've seen some outside overtakes this weekend. I'm expecting quite a few more. So they come round, turn 18, Valtanen on pole. Kovac alongside. We go into the tram lines for senior road tax racing action and we go lights out. Kovac uh, gets dropped a little bit as the start phase gets underway as they hurdle their way into turn one for the first time. It's three abreast. Everyone's made it cleanly through so far as they go up the hill all the way up to turn five, down the dip towards turn six, right hander, now into seven. Up the hill, up into eight. And the, uh, there are, there's two, three abreast going into turn eight. That was close. That was towards the bottom part of the top 15. Probably even the top 20 as they come down the hill towards the infield part of the circuit. And at the moment, Walton are now getting to stretch the legs away. But there's a move up the inside. And that is Reese Hunter up to second now. Up the inside of the 311 of Linus Henson. And Henson being attacked by uh, on all fronts. Looks like there is a KR Sport driver behind. And that is that Sean Butcher, who's slingshotted his way up. Hunter goes wide going into turn 16. Henson tries to respond up the inside, but loses out through turn 18. Henson down into P4. Could be even P6 by the end of the straightaway if he's not careful. 8 minutes and 50 plus an additional lap. valtonen has got the run as there's a definitive... Uh, issue there for Linus Henson ran a bit wide coming up the hill and lost a handful of places managing to battle his way through turn six it's possibly going to be two to three abreast towards the bottom part of the top 12 as they come down the hill into turn nine Valtanen has the seven tenth of a second advantage uh, well over it was Reese Hunter it is now Sean Butcher and just behind them is the 371 of Zombar Kovac, so Kovac rounding at the uh, top, the top uh, five positions at the minute. Well, it was the five positions. It's now the top four. As it th I think that might be the 385 Felix Jansson who started in P9, 
Now up into what is P5. Uh, possibly, but they come across the start finish line. Valtteren leads. Butcher only half, less than half a second adrift of the fin. Reese Hunter now up into P3. Kovac, Jansson, Turka from Turkey, the sole Turkish competitor, started P4, now into P6. Then it's Kai Hunter in seventh place. Then we got the 370. Dave Blom up from 11th to P8. Linus Hansen and Mads Reese ran at the top 10. Leaders now coming through into turn 12. So I'm just keeping an eye on uh, just how many of them. They are literally line astern. Top four, top six, top eight, 10, 12, 14. Pretty much the top 20 are, they are absolutely covered by absolutely nothing. 6.3 seconds. And there has been a retirement. Unfortunately, Kim Leon Kublik in the 377 is no longer running in this race. I don't think, think he even took the start. But Juho Valtanen has now got Sean Butcher chasing him down. The gap was less than half a second. It's now three tenths. And Kovac has just signalled to Reese Hunter, let's get after the two leaders. Don't fight me. Don't fight me. Let's go after the two in front. So, but the thing is, you can say that to a driver. Whether they decide they want to do that is another matter entirely. And it looks by, by the driving style through turn eight and down into nine. Hunter is not uh, wanting to, uh, let's just say, work together with Zombor Kovac. There's an, a driver can say to somebody else, yeah, let's work together. But then there's the other part of the, there's the other side of the coin where the other party has been requested to maybe do something has gone, well, I'll only do it, do it if it benefits me. As Kovac will now punch a hole through the dirty air for Reese Hunter to catch up in the braking zone. And the benefit for this, uh, of this for Hunter is that he's going to have to use less throttle. It's, uh, so Kovac, uh, Kovac is doing all the work up in front as, again, it's very interesting at the front. And Kaisley's taken the lead from Valtanen. Kaisley took... No, sorry, not Kaisley. Butcher took the lead from uh, Valtanen there. I keep on getting confused with the amount of KR Sport drivers' liveries I've seen this weekend already. And we're not even into the lunch break yet. So, uh, good work by Sean Butcher. He had the run of, on Valtanen coming out of the final corner up towards turn one and just made the move stick. Uh, Dave Blom up into P7 from P11. But Butcher is not going to be out of the wilderness yet. There is still time on the clock. We're now halfway through this penultimate race of the morning's action here for the 2020 Rotax Max Challenge Winter Cup. So the top nine drivers. There's been a change for eight, though. Linus Henson gets up the inside of Jansson. So that's a great job there by the German, starting to recover back. But he's still got a lot of work in the next four minutes and 36 seconds, plus an additional lap. So Butcher now has a lead of over nearly three tenths of a second over Juho Valtanen, who started from pole position. Uh, unfortunately, we've had Flint Schuring retire from this race. Ryabov also now has parked it. So we're down to 24 senior Rotax competitors here with four minutes and 15, plus an additional lap. Butcher still has to fight for this. And Juho Valtanen, as we saw in Valtanen's first battle, uh, along with Matilda Olson, in the very first heat of the day when we went live at 20 past 10 this morning, local time, he's got his second win back. So probably, the thing is, is that the drivers have to strategize with the two sets of race tires they have here this weekend. And that is, has shown the difference as we're going to have a move up the inside. That is Turka, I think, up the inside of Hunter, who's now switched back and changed the position. So great battle. And the Hunter brothers are going to be nearly line of stern. But Ehad Turka is in the middle of a Hunter sandwich uh, for the minute, but not quite yet because it's now uh, Hunter's one. It's Hunter's uh, five and six. And that is Reese ahead of Kai. Uh, Kai actually took part in last year's grand finals in the DD2 class because he actually re he was actually of the minimum age requirement. So uh, the two Hunter brothers know each other very very well. They well they're practically siblings, uh, let's just say. So effectively, um, 
we have that kind of uh, dynamic. So what we'll do is uh, we'll see how they work together. So at the minute, uh, Sean Butcher still doing a great job keeping the likes of Juho Valentin and Zombar Kovac at bay. Uh, Ehad Turk are now up into fourth place as they come around the final corner. But the two Hunter brothers are being caught. And that is Dave Blom who started in 11th position. And we got a five second penalty issued. <coughs> and that is 3.09. Rasmus Friedel, five second penalty there. So Friedel running in 19th position, that'll put him pretty much uh, classified as 24th and stone dead last once we cross the finish line in about three or so minutes time. Drivers coming down the hill, looks like the uh, Hunter brothers have been split and that is the case as the 370 of Dave Blom now up into sixth position. So he's ahead of Kai, he's got Reese just up ahead. Uh, so Butcher leads, we still have uh, running order, it's Valtan and Kovac, Turka. Uh, sorry, yeah, Turka, we've then got, uh, it looks like Kai has got ahead of Reese, I believe. So we'll uh, find out. DD2 driver 417, 417, please report to the stewards immediately. This is your third call. Driver number 417, DD2, please head to the stewards immediately. 60 seconds on the clock, still to go here. And Sean Butcher has put um, <coughs> a defensive driving uh, display on uh, front and centre ahead of Juho Valtonen. So we have at the moment that Reese Hunter is actually uh, just behind Dave Blom, who's now for, gone from 11th to 6th place uh, throughout the course of this uh, encounter. Mads Reese is now behind Luca Leistra from Belgium. So Leistra, who started down in 8th place, now rounds out the top 10 positions. So we go on to the penultimate lap of this race. <coughs> Three confirmed retirements, Ryabov, uh, Flint Schering and Kim Leon Kublik. So 24 still running, leaders now separated by four tenths of a second, rounding at the top 15, it's Mads Ries, Tom Adams, Max Stemmerdink, Kian Sang and Mario Sidler uh, that are uh, rounding at the top 15. Fabian Bock just outside of that is about three and a half seconds away from Mario Sidler. Um, Gerhard, one of the rookies, down in 17th ahead of uh, Jose Luis uh, Sinero Salas. Um, who uh, has been given a second lifeline through an anonymous sponsor that gave him a new Cart Republic chassis uh, just literally the other day, I think it was Thursday, uh, that he received it. As the leaders now come down into turn number 16 for the penultimate time, Sean Butcher doing a great job, still leading the way. The gap between him and Juho Valtonen was about four tenths of a second. We go on to last lap this time around. Top right, now there's been a bit of a development here and it is one of the hunters that has dropped down the order significantly and that is the 395 of Kai Hunter who's just come across the start finish line and that lap was a 1 minute 3.8 but he's just dropped all the way down to 24th position so I'm not too sure if there was an issue. Well, his best lap was a 1 minute 3.8. He's just done a 1 minute 24. So drama has f befell the Brits on the penultimate lap of this race. As uh, the majority of the top 12 or so drivers have now made their way through turn 12 for the final time as the leaders go through turn 15 into 16. <coughs> and this time around, taking the win in Senior Rotax will be the 349 of KR Sports, Sean Butcher, one of the uh, many rookies here. Three tenths of a second for Juho Valtanen from Finland, who still is sitting very well indeed after the first two races of the qualifying heat stages. Zombar Kovac takes P3 
Ehad Turka takes P4. Dave Blom finishes in fifth place at the end of it all. I'm not too sure whether there might have been a, a, a slight incident or something. Really didn't see anything which uh, put uh, the number 395 of Kai Hunter down to stone dead last at the end of it of those that actually finished. Uh, Reese Hunter finished in sixth place. Linus Hansen in seventh there to Felix Jansson. Luca Leistra and Mads Reese from RS Competition ran out the top ten. Coles Racing's Tom Adams finishes in 11th, the 347 from Great Britain. Head of Max Stemmerdink from the Netherlands. Kian Sang in, uh, in the 381 ahead of Mario Sidler and Fabian Bock rounding out the top 15. Then it's Gerhard, Jose Luis um, Cineros. Uh, Spencer Schinner finishing in 18th ahead of Friedel, who had his post-race penalty applied, five seconds. Mark Kamahata, Joa Ax... Uh, Ua Aksanen, I'm, I'm trying to, going to try and get that right at some point this weekend, I think. Uh, Dennis Oliveira, uh, Lessa and, Reece, uh, and Kai Hunter being the last of the 24 classified finishers ahead of uh, Ryabov, Schuring, and that's Flint Schuring in the 316, and Kim Leon Kublik, who unfortunately did not finish the race.